Masters of the Universe Revelation had so much potential, yet it was squandered because people like Kevin Smith and Netflix wanted the show to focus less on white male leads and more on strong independent women. And I like female leads in shows, don't get me wrong, but when you put He-Man in all of the posters, in the trailers, in every single piece of marketing, yet he shows up twice, people are going to be disappointed when he's not the lead character. But we saw part one of Revelations was all about Tila, and part two isn't going to be about He-Man either, apparently, because Kevin Smith decided to admit that part two is all about Evelyn, a character that is a good character, don't get me wrong. Again, though, it's just not He-Man. So I wanted to start off with a Bounding Into Comics article, which talks about the Evelyn situation, a Cosmic Book News article that references He-Man disappearing from Netflix's top 10 list, and then I wanted to show off a piece of an interview that's going around right now because the voice actress for Andra admitted during an interview that she had to say the very iconic line, I have the power, which has led to a lot of theories being posted on the internet. But really quickly before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month. All of the links are in the description. And of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So it says, Masters of the Universe Revelation showrunner Kevin Smith has revealed that following a first half centered around Tila's quest to retrieve the two halves of the broken sword of power, the second part of his recently released Netflix revival of the popular 80s franchise shifts into an evil in story. So Smith teased that Evelyn's expanded role during a recent Netflix-hosted Q&A session in response to being asked, is Evelyn actually evil, asserting that Evelyn is absolutely one of my favorite characters, not just because Lena Headey gives an award-worthy performance, but also because we mirror Tila's journey with Evelyn's journey as well. Now, I personally do really like Lena Headey. I think that she's done great in the entertainment industry, but if a script is trash, you can't expect a voice actor to, you know, make the performance amazing. I do not think that season two or part two of Revelation is going to magically make this story much better because it continues to say, you're talking about two women who have been in the shadows of very powerful male characters since the inception of the franchise. And Tila, you know, fought side by side with He-Man, definitely more like his equal. Evelyn, though, she was always overshadowed by Skeletor, which is absolutely ridiculous because of course they're going to be overshadowed by their male counterparts at some point because the male counterparts are the focus of the freaking show. You can't have every single female character be on par with He-Man or be on par with Skeletor or else there's not depths to characters. Every character is just going to be a freaking god and can do everything by themselves. The point of these characters was always to complement the male characters. Tila always complimented He-Man. Um, Evelyn always complimented Skeletor and yeah, were their stories always amazing? No. They, could they have been better at some point? Yes. But I liked those characters for a reason. And, you know, now, of course, they're going in the direction of, oh, the poor females were always overshadowed by the toxic men. We just can't have that. Their stories are going to be so fulfilling and heartwarming and heartbreaking going forward. You're going to really learn the depths of these characters. To that end, Smith hypothetically asked fans what happens if those two figures are removed from their lives, who do they get to be? As we see in the first five episodes, there's goodness in Evelyn. But in the next five episodes, kids, it shifts to an Evelyn story that is so compelling, absolutely fascinating, satisfying, and heartbreaking. So it sounds like they're going in the direction of, oh, look at this poor woman. She's always been overshadowed by her male counterpart. 
counterpart, but now she's gonna break out of that shadow and she's gonna be the independent woman she's always wanted to be. I mean, people were holding out hope that part two would be focused on He-Man, but now we know it's not gonna be. After seeing what they did with part one and how they made it all about Tila, they had no strong male leads and with the way Kevin Smith acted towards fans, I gave up all hope for part two because they have totally screwed up half of it. So how could you expect them to magically fix the second half? But I wanted to head over to another article that says Kevin Smith's He-Man disappears from Netflix's top 10 list already. It says we can hopefully kiss Kevin Smith's woke He-Man series revelation goodbye on Netflix as it is learned that the show has quickly dropped out of the top 10. Maybe the show definitely uh, didn't get the reach they thought it was going to get. I think they were hoping that this show was going to just appeal to everyone magically. So that's why they didn't care about attacking real nostalgic fans of the franchise because they thought this show was going to have this huge reach and they haven't actually released any numbers for this show. Usually if a show is breaking numbers on Netflix, they release how many households it's been streamed in, but uh, nope. They didn't do that for this show. It says on Netflix this week, fans sent a clear message to Kevin Smith and the company who tried to spin the negative reaction last week as if it was a couple of upset fans who were review bombing, but it's hard to argue with Revelation disappearing out of the overall top 10 and the top 10 TV shows after just one week while so many other shows have stayed in the top 10 for weeks on end. You know, so forget just two weeks, so I think it makes a lot more of a serious situation situation. We'll see what happens with part two. I mean, I think it's already done, right? They can't reanimate it. It's so true. Usually shows can stay in the top 10 for weeks. I mean, look at Manifest. Manifest, a show from many years ago, trended once on social media because people want more seasons of it, and now it's been in the top 10 of Netflix for like a month and a half. People are still watching it. It's still super popular. You've got shows in the top 10 that are just so bizarre half the time. But of course, He-Man is not there anymore. It says He-Man fans stopped watching Revelation. So with the He-Man series dropping out of the top 10 on Netflix after only one week, what that tells us is that a lot of fans watched it when it was first released. And then of course, they didn't watch the series again. I personally would never watch the show again. Um, I think a lot of people just wanted to watch it once, give it a fair chance. And once we saw what it was, they stopped watching it. They didn't care. They're not going to waste their time rewatching a crappy series. It says Grace Randolph also brings up a good point, and it is something I have seen other fans remark about since everybody hated the first part of it. Will Smith and the producers change part two? Judging from how Smith has insulted fans and F-bombed them, I can't see it happening, and I do agree with this article. I think they've gone all in on this series. I don't think that they're going to magically change part two. Then they'd have to delay it. They'd have to put more work and effort into it. They went in a clear direction of strong woman and woman power, I genuinely do not think that they're going to change that just because the show isn't really being watched right now. They went all in on it. I don't expect them to change it. It says, I also found it pretty funny that when Revelation was first released, Kevin Smith was overjoyed with how it had a high Rotten Tomatoes critics rating, but of course, the audience score was actually trash, and it still is pretty freaking bad, but it was at a 94% critic rating with only 35 reviews, may I add, and a 26% audience score. This show has not gone the way they anticipated. People are upset with them. Fans didn't like the show, it got tons of negative reviews, and the people they probably wanted to show up, the woke crowd, didn't actually show up to watch it. And I also wanted to head over to this screenshot that's being shared around the internet right now regarding the Andra voice actress because it says, uh, Not long after, an audition for Masters of the Universe Revelation came up and I did the audition, but I didn't want to reach out to Kevin or anything. I really wanted my work to speak for itself.
I remember at the end of the audition, I had to say the iconic, I have the power line, so I pulled my lightsaber off the wall and raced it up over my head as I said the line. I think they'd think it was super cool or go-ish. Thankfully, a couple of weeks later, I got a call saying I had booked the role of Andra. So a lot of people right now were pretty iffy with this. They think maybe they had her say that line for a specific reason, but it's not totally uncomfortable common that with auditions they make people say lines that are iconic to the series. If I was auditioning to play a stormtrooper, they'd probably still have me say may the force be with you. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they're planning for Andra to become she-woman, but there's been a theory that Tila has become the sorceress and maybe Andra will end up being the she-ma'am character if they permanently kill off He-Man, which I personally don't think they'll do since they can put him on marketing and keep milking him for all he's worth but it is a possibility. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised no matter what they did with Masters of the Universe because of how they've butchered characters, the universe, and the story already. If they made Andra She-Ma'am, I would not be impressed, and I know a lot of other people would be pretty freaking upset as well, but it is a theory going around online. Do I believe it? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at this point with the way that Kevin Smith and Netflix has acted. Overall, I really wish that this show had been good from the get-go. I wish that they had released this show. It would have been amazing. It would have been focused on He-Man and all these iconic characters, but unfortunately, it just wasn't. They went in the direction of strong, independent woman. We don't need no male lead characters, and I don't think that's going to stop for part two, even after the backlash surrounding part one of this series. They have a clear direction they're going in, and I think it's going to fail for them. I do not think people are going to show up to watch part two after they saw um, part one and how much Netflix and Kevin Smith butchered this franchise. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way. But I will talk to you all again in the next video video really soon.